Hey everybody, Mr. Bells here. Uh, this is uh, Unit 5's Geometry, uh, GOA. Um, notes, information, everything uh, ready for the test. So, um, if you're watching this first time, this is 2020, the <laughs> end of the first trimester when COVID um, hit again and we're all out of school. This is what your test looks like. This is for uh, a Google Forms version of it. I'm going to try and give you at least the basic topics of all the stuff that you need to be able to know. Uh, study well, do well, uh, make sure you read the questions carefully, and uh, you're going to be awesome. Okay? Also, if this is uh, the week of the extra credit stuff, make sure you get that video in by 9 o'clock Sunday night. Again, that would be um, November of 2020. <laughs> So, uh, Unit 5, GOA, uh, first things you need to know is um, what proves uh, triangles congruent? What are some of those things? So, we know uh, shortcuts are SSS, which means if all three sides of one triangle are congruent to all three sides of another triangle, that works. Uh, ASA, that works. AAS, that works. SAS, that works. H. L, that works. Uh, angle, side, angle, 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 side, side, angle, side. H, L stands for hypotenuse leg. The things that don't work, don't work. Um, uh, S, S, A. Um, it was the last example that we had, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. So it just depends on what's going on. Um, so we have a situation where uh, we have this. Um, let's do this. This one right here, uh, if it has these markings and this side is bigger, this side is bigger than this side, this one's smaller in terms of actual distances. Like if this was 10 and this was 8, this would actually work because this is big S, little s, A, big side, little side, angle. And that works. The reason why just any side side angle doesn't work is if um, we have a triangle looks like this, and this is one of our sides, and this is our angle. It's this re remaining side that kind of can mess us up because we could have it like this, or we could have it like that. So um, it could be you can see I'll have a double side single side angle or a double side single side angle. You can see that in this situation right now that I can't guarantee that I'm just going to get one triangle. Um, but you can also obviously see that this side's smaller. So this is a little s, big S, A, and that combination of S, A, S, A is no way. Okay? Um, so just make sure you keep those straight. Uh, a, A, A. Nope, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Um, again, little s, big s, a, so just general s, s, a doesn't work. It has to be this uh, for it to work. Um, and then uh, just if I have an s and an a, nope, that's not enough. Uh, you got to have three other things. Um, and when it says h, l, I know that's only two of the things, but let me show you in the picture. Uh, hypotenuse and leg like that. Uh, and you're like, ooh, well, that's only two of the things. Well, actually, it's three of the things. Because in order for us to have a hypotenuse, that um, confirms that that angle is a right angle. And yes, I know that's uh, side, side, angle. But you can see that this is a big S, a little s. And an A, because the biggest side has to be the hypotenuse. Um, so if I give you random things like A, B, J, uh, no, that, that doesn't work. Um, those are the ones that work, those five. And then, uh, again, big S, little s, A, uh, that also works. Okay. So what else do you need to be able to know how to do? Um, if I give you markings on a triangle like this, uh, you got to know that this is side angle side markings. And if I give you markings like this, uh, you got to know that that's angle side angle markings. And uh, if I give you a triangle like this, you got to know that that is uh, angle angle side markings. So. The order in which it goes around. Next, you got to know that if I have triangle ABC is congruent to 
triangle D, E, F, you should be able to know all the parts that match up. So that angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle B is congruent to angle E, and angle C is congruent to angle F, and segment AB is congruent to segment DE, and segment BC is congruent to segment EF, and segment AC is congruent to segment DF. And that order matters on all of those things. Uh, you got to be able to do algebra stuff, so that if I give you this, and I give you 3x plus 2, and I give you uh, x plus 20, um, that you should be able to solve for those two angles, because if these two sides are equal, those two angles are equal, and you can write 3x plus 2 equals x plus 20. 2x equals uh, 18 x equals 9, and therefore that would be a 29 degree angle, and that would be a 29 degree angle. So being able to do any of the algebra stuff, I apologize, there you go, there's the picture for what I just said. Um, and it could be something like this, it could be something like this, where I give you all three of the angles, like this is 3x plus 6, and this is 5x, and this is 2x plus 10. And they say, hey, what's the measure of angle A? Well, then you'd have to write 5x plus 3x plus 6 plus 2x plus 10 equals 180 degrees. And do some algebra that way. You know, um, we talked about this one today, that this angle right over here is equal to the sum of angles x and angle y. Because then any exterior angle is equal to the sum of the non to adjacent angles of that triangle. Um, so you got to be able to do those ones. Is that good? Um, those are some of the things. Uh, if you have triangles that are congruent, so if you have triangles that are congruent, so you got this triangle congruent to this triangle like this, and I got boom, and I got boom, and I got ding, ding, and I got bing, 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 and bing, bing, bing that if I know that this is 7 centimeters and this is 2x plus uh, 18, then I should be able to solve for x because I know that since those two both have single dashes on them, that 7 must equal 2x plus 18. And then subtract the 18 and I get negative 11 equals 2x and x equals negative 5.5. And that's what that would be. Okay. Um, so those types of situations. Um, I do have a whole lot of problems that ask this, true or false, or can not be determined. Um, and uh, there's, yeah, there's probably like 20 or 30 of those ones uh, throughout the whole thing. But if you understand how the relationships go between the triangles, then you'd be, you'd be all set. So like if I had, um, let's say, this question up on here, if I said that this is A and this is B, and I said, hey, angle A is congruent to angle B, um, you would be like, hmm, is that angle congruent to that angle? And uh, at this point, it's, I'm hoping it's pretty obvious. That would be false. False. Sorry about that. Uh, let me turn that uh, ringer off. Um, uh, and the reason is this, because angle A is between the 1 and the 3 markers, and angle B is between the 2 and the 3 markers, and those are not the same thing. Now, I can't put that it cannot be determined um, because of the fact that since these have a singles, these have a doubles, and these have a triples, that guarantees that this is a scalene triangle. And if it's a scalene triangle, then none of the angles um, can be congruent to each other except for the ones that match up. So they have to be three different angles on a scalene triangle. Okay. So what else do I have? Um, again, a whole bunch of problems like that. Um, if I said something like this, uh, if I said these two lines are parallel, I go, why does angle A and angle B, why are angle A and angle B congruent? Well, you would hopefully say that that's the alternate interior angles um, theorem. 
be like, oh yeah, that's that one. And remember, you can use your theorems, postulates, properties, and definitions on this. And if I said, well, wait, what about these two angles? Why are those two angles congruent? And you would say, hey, that's because of the vertical angles theorem, right? And uh, if these two things were marked, and I said, well, why is this segment congruent to this segment? You would simply say, well, that's because it's given, given. Okay, so there's going to be a bunch of ones like that where you just have to be able to tell me what the theorem postulate property definition is. And again, uh, there's some algebra stuff that goes along with some of these ones. Uh, what else we got in here? Um, I've got some that uh, match up like this and some that match up like this. And I go A, B, C, and D, E. F I'll make sure we're clear on this. Uh, is triangle A B C congruent to triangle D E F? And you're like, I know this triangle right here is congruent to this triangle right here because of SSS. But when I write it like this, is that true? Well, this is how I can check to see if it's true. Let's take a look at segment AB. Segment AB is a single mark. It has to match up with segment DE. DE is a triple mark. So this answer is no. Okay, then well, what is triangle ABC congruent to? You would need to be able to fill in what those letters are. So if I do A to B and then have C, I've got to go in this order. So A to B to C has a one mark and then a three mark. So I need to be able to go one mark and then a three mark. So that would be F, E, D. Okay? Uh, so there's a bunch of those different types of things. Um, you guys know that if I have this, if I have an equilateral triangle, that that means uh, it has to be equal angular and vice versa. If it's equal angular, it must be equilateral. Um, those responsibilities, uh, I feel like that's good. Um, it's, it's a pretty straightforward test. Uh, even you guys, uh, make sure you're not so good on it. And, uh, that you have that you use it well, and you read each question carefully, and it'll go well. Right up here, you can see this. Uh, here's my two words I got some new things for. Perseverance, which means uh, no matter what obstacles are thrown at you, you're going to keep working at it, working at it, working at it to be able to do extremely well. And accountability means that you are going to be responsible for your own actions. Uh, so if you study well, and you take good notes, and you've come and you've asked extra questions, you will do awesome. So here's the deal, though. We're probably going to be in this again next trimester. Uh, I won't see any of you um, because of uh, the classes that I'm teaching. Uh, but know that I'm here. Uh, I'll be here to help out for anybody who wants help. Um, stay on top of the stuff. Uh, be responsible. Persevere when it comes to things that are thrown at you. And be accountable for your own actions. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy.